Welcome to the cabin. Today, we're painting another Metallic Chaos Space Marine, this time for the Word Bearers Legion. Before we start though, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, feel free to join our channel here on YouTube, check out our Patreon page, or explore our merchandise at Redbubble. Links in the description down below. With that said, let's get to it. We've painted a couple of these Metallic Chaos Space Marines on the channel before. If you want to check it out, click on the playlist right here. As before, I began with an undercoat of Lead Belcher. This forms the base for the armor, trims, and some of the details. Using my airbrush, I applied a Zenithal Highlight of Silver, a brighter metallic color from Vallejo. You can skip this stage if you don't own an airbrush. To add definition, I used Nuln Oil all over. The latest formula does a great job of shading without staining the surfaces too much. But I still wanted the silver to stand out more, so I dry brushed everything with Rune Fang Steel. With the silver done, I needed to find the right tone for the armor. The word bearers have a dark red tone, so Flesh Terrace Red would work well. However, after cross-referencing with Horus Heresy artwork and the actual Legion-specific paints from Citadel, I noticed brown and purple undertones. So I did some tests and came up with a 2 to 1 mix of Flash Terrace Red and Saigor Brown. I diluted this with 50% contrast medium and applied it all over the armor panels. Next I added a wash of Caraber Crimson to add a purple tint and some shadows. Finally, I used a sponge to add Runefang Steel to represent battle damage on the armor. What's great about this paint scheme is that the armor trims are already finished at this point. The only thing I needed to do was a general cleanup with Lead Belcher, fixing any overspill of the red paint. For brass details, I used Gore Grunta Fur, diluted with 50% contrast medium. One or two layers produces a nice, deep brass shade. I also wanted to make the cables and armor seals a bit darker, so I applied Basiliconum Grey in one or two layers on these areas. As you can see, this part of the process doesn't have to be too complicated, giving me the chance to put some extra time into the smaller details. The weapon panels were base coated with Black Legion. This contrast paint covers really well in just one coat. To create some definition, I used Eschen Grey for a wider edge highlight. Followed by a thinner highlight of Dawnstone. For the corners, I applied Administratum Grey. I used Rhinox Hide to base coat the leather pouches. To darken the recesses, I applied Agrax Earthshade as a pinwash and went back to Rhinox Hide to clean up any overspill. Then I used Katachan Flesh for the first wider edge highlight. With a thinner highlight of Blood Reaver Flesh added next. Focusing on the corners, I used Night Quester Flesh as the final highlight. For the leather straps, I wanted a lighter shade of brown, so I base coated these with XV88. To give them a reddish shade, I washed them with Ryklan Flesh Shade. For the first highlight, I used Talarn Sand. Consecutively, I applied Xandri Dust, this time a bit more selectively. Finally, I chose Ushapti Bone for the sharpest detail. I wanted the loincloth to resemble flayed skin, so I base coated it with a one to one mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone. I then washed everything with Reichland Flesh Shade. For the first layer, I used pure Cadian Flesh Tone. Followed by Kislev Flesh in a more selective manner. 
As a final highlight, I used a 1 to 1 mix of Kislev Flesh and Flayed One Flesh. To make the tusks and horns stand out from the leather straps, I base coated them with Bane Blade Brown, which has a grayish, desaturated brown tone. I then layered on Rakarth Flesh, leaving some of the previous color at the base of each tusk. Pallid Witch Flesh was used in the same way, covering an even smaller area. For the very tip, I applied White Scar. The eye lenses and the demonic eye on the bolt pistol were base coated with Caliban Green. As a first highlight, I applied Warp Stone Glow. Next, I used Moot Green in a more selective way. For the final highlight, I added White Scar to the Moot Green to create a one-to-one -one mix. That's all the painting done. All that's left is to apply the transfers and fix the base. I applied gloss varnish on the shoulder pad where the Legion symbol goes. Then I brushed on micro set before putting on the transfer with tweezers and an old brush. After pressing it down, I applied micro sol to smooth the transfer. Lastly, I sealed everything in gloss varnish once again. The whole miniature was then varnished with a one-to-one -one mix of satin and matte varnish. At this stage, I also added some gore to the loincloth, using Blood for the Blood God and an old brush. I used PVA glue on the base and then added Base Ready City Rubble from Geek Gaming Scenics. Once this was fully dried, I used an old brush to add light slate grey pigments from Vallejo. The base rim was painted with Abaddon Black. And then I added some Wasteland Tufts from Army Painter to finish it all off. With that, the word bearer was done. I'm quite happy with the results, and I think the Chaos Space Marine models are perfect for this type of metallic paint scheme. What Legion or Warband would you like to see next? Leave a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about new content. And check out our YouTube membership, Patreon page, and Redbubble merchandise. We'll see you next time. Stay creative, stay inspired, and good luck with your miniatures.